All right, in this lesson, we are going to talk about altimetry, um, and we're referring to our altimeter. We rely on our altimeter to tell us how high above the ground that we are flying. It's an incredibly important instrument. However, we as pilots must be aware of a few different factors concerning it. In this lesson, we will review different types of altitude and the effects temperature and pressure can have on altimeters. An altimeter is a barometer. A pressure altimeter, the kind found in most airplanes, measures the pressure of the atmosphere around the aircraft with the measurements given in feet above mean sea level. In other words, a pressure altimeter is nothing more than a barometer, but its readings are in height, not inches of mercury or millibars. This, this works well, but with potential errors. These errors arise because, among other reasons, Changes in atmospheric pressure through all levels of the atmosphere depend on the weather and change with the weather. For example, the atmospheric pressure in the center of a storm is lower than that of the pressure of the surrounding atmosphere. As a pilot, we have five different types of altitude that we need to be concerned with. The first is absolute altitude. This is the altitude of an aircraft above the ground, AGL. True altitude the actual altitude of an aircraft above mean sea level, indicated altitude, the altitude measured by your altimeter, pressure altitude, the altitude of a given pressure service in the standard atmosphere, this is displayed when the altimeter is set to 29.92, and density altitude, pressure altitude corrected for non-standard temperature differences. Since not all locations will have the same conditions, we use a constant. We base our altitude readings off of uh, the sea level pressure. Airports publish their height above sea level, and pilots will set their altimeter to that true altitude before departure. Flying cross-country will result in our aircraft flying into different areas of um, varying temperature and pressure. So we need to be aware of these so we can adjust our altimeter settings so we are flying at the appropriate altitude. And there's a good saying for this, for temperature and pressure. For temperature, hot to cold, look out below. Cold temperature causes an altimeter to read higher than actual, which will result in the pilot flying lower. Pressure effects, the same thing, high to low, look out below. As pressure decreases, an altimeter will read higher than actual, and a pilot will fly lower. The thing to note about the temperature effects of the altimeter, however, is that we do not correct for the temperature effects on the altimeter, as they will affect everyone uniformly. But the pressure effects of the altimeter we do correct for. This is why we get an updated altimeter setting from air traffic control. So an example of this is, say we departed out of Dallas Love, KDAL and that gives an altimeter setting of 3012. And we were going to fly to Arkadelphia, Arkansas, KADF, at an altitude of 5,000 feet. Well, along the route, there was a pressure drop, and the altimeter setting reported at Arkadelphia was 2992, but for whatever reason, we did not change our altimeter setting. Well, the actual altitude of the aircraft, our true altitude, whenever we got into that new pressure, would be about 4,800 feet. Um, but our indicated altitude is going to remain at 5,000 feet, which is where we get the um, high to low lookout below. We came from an area of higher pressure to an area of lower pressure without correcting for it, and now we are flying lower than what is indicated on our altimeter, so we need to be looking out below. So in conclusion, we want to be aware of the changing atmospheric conditions and the effects that they can have on our altimeter. Um, we want to ensure that our altimeter has been properly serviced, make sure it's in good working condition.